What up guys, Savvy Echo here and welcome back to the sesh. Uh, today I'm doing an unboxing from an online order for Books A Million. And uh, pretty much what I got was uh, the uh, Cthulhu and the uh, Robin is Red X. I'm guessing both pops are in here, which kind of worries me a little because sometimes they pack them too tight. But as you can see, uh, it's got airbags and everything, so hopefully the pops inside are safe. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox that. And, uh, yeah, they had several other exclusives coming up, like the Harry Potter ones, um, Minerva as a Cat, and, uh, I forget the name of the other one, but, uh, go ahead and check them out. I'll post the link in the description. I think Cthulhu's still in stock. And I liked it to get Robin as Red X, so I figured why not get them now that, uh, Cthulhu was in stock. But, uh, here they pretty much are, and, uh... It looks like they came in pretty safe, so let me go ahead and take them out. And uh, I am still looking for the Metallic Cthulhu that Bam had uh, previously before. But uh, I liked it to get that one as well. And from the looks of it, I mean, these guys came in pretty solid. Digging the box art on this guy. It looks cool. Especially the back. I like how they give it like a little synopsis of the, the whole thing. Uh, there is a creasing here, unfortunately. Maybe I can iron that out. I'll try to see what's up, but he looks cool. And then, Robin is Red X. Pretty much is just him without his mask on. And uh, he looks like he came in pretty safe. A uh, small little tear right there, I guess. But uh, other than that, I mean, not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these guys out of the box, and uh, we'll take a closer look. Cool. Alright guys, so here are the pops out of the box. I'm going to start off with uh, Cthulhu and uh, pretty much just to give a little background story on this. It's pretty much a character created by H.P. Uh, Lovecraft back in the 20s. And uh, the short story was pretty much called The Call of Cthulhu. And uh, pretty much uh, it said that this creature is uh, pretty much imprisoned in the city of Relia and one day it'll come back, you know, to, uh, you know hit humanity and all that but uh other than that I mean it's a pretty cool looking pop the details are crazy on this uh, he's got um his scales his hands the webbing on his fingers pretty much some fin looking things right here on his arm and uh, the scales pretty much go all over his his body you know there's some on his feet on his chest uh, they did a lot of details as far as uh it goes on his um body wise you know the muscles and all that and uh, his wings are cool too. It's got like these little uh, round dots in the back. I don't know if you can see them right there. And other than that, he's pretty much got like some cloth thing going on down here by his feet. And there is also webbing at the bottom of his feet. So it's pretty. It's a pretty very detailed pop, and uh, really digging the the details they put on the tentacles right here at the bottom. Did a solid job on that. And uh, I'm digging the color, sort of a you know turquoise color going on and definitely the facial features I mean uh, the way they did his eyelids only like you know kinda got this matte sinister look going and all the uh, details around the face the frowns and all that uh, definitely definitely a lot of details especially on the top of his head too the way they made it look like all like an octopus sort of and uh, yeah it's a pretty solid pop glad I got it uh, I do have the uh, a glow in the dark version as well I believe that was an entertainment earth exclusive but uh... and i'm gonna show you pretty much uh... the little story it says if you want to pause the video pretty much and just read that but uh... that's what it pretty much says in the back of the box a little story about you know cthulhu and all that and uh... moving on to red x pretty much uh... i remember seeing red x in the original teen titans cartoon not the teen titans go i haven't really seen too much of teen titans go I've uh, pretty much grew up watching uh, the original Teen Titans that was uh, I believe on Channel 5 at the time if I'm not mistaking uh, Kids WB or whatever but uh, it's pretty much the BAM exclusive is him without the uh, Red X mask it's just him unmasked pretty much and uh, the episode that he came out on was uh, season 1 episode 9 and it was called Mask and pretty much uh, Robin made up this suit uh, Red X the character to uh, steal some chips for Slade to gain his trust and pretty much infiltrate and try to 
catch Slade and all that. But eventually Slade found out who that it was Robin under the mask. And uh, later on, I do believe uh, the suit was stolen and somebody else took the persona of Red X. And he came out a couple of times as a, as a villain. But uh, that's pretty much where this why Robin's wearing this costume. And uh, they did a pretty solid job. He's got his, uh, you know, the little red axes that he throws at, you know, Cyborg and it electrocutes him and all that throughout the episode. Got the axe in the front of his chest. The cape's pretty cool. It's like a little bit beat up at the bottom. But uh, other than that, I mean, this pose is pretty simple. They do do these, like, skinny poses for the uh, Teen Titans, like the more slender body type things. And uh, it's a little wobbly, so just, I guess, be careful when you place it. And the Cthulhu is a bit heavy, so, you know, I would place them in an inner shelf just because if it does fall, I feel like the wings would snap off if it takes a hit. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you guys pick these up, if you're planning to pick them up, uh, have other Cthulhus or what your favorite Cthulhu is. I do want that gold metallic one. I just liked it to get it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next round. Laters.